Hey, very nice. So today, we're flying with Rolando, our pilot in command. Rolando is a, uh, a rusty pilot, I guess is a fair thing to say, who's coming back. Fair enough. Uh, we've flown a few times, we did your instrument proficiency check, finished that up, so that means you can fly IFR again. And today, basically, we're just brushing up, making sure you're good to sign off solo on, uh, on 526 Delta Sierra. We're going to go up and do a few landings, and um, be impressed by the quality of flight. I am, uh, unless you put us in danger, which I don't expect you to do, I'm going to try to just keep shut up and um, pretend like I'm not here. Uh, and that way, instead of me jumping in ahead of time, if there's any anything you're, you're not doing or having a problem with, it'll, it'll be easier to spot instead of me being proactive on it. So I have full confidence in you. Radio's all in your hands. The plane is all in your hands. Roger that. Thank you. I am in your hands. Do you like State Farm, the good hands people? Uh, all State. All st okay, All State. State Farm is the good neighbor. That's, are you a good neighbor? I don't know. The power a little bit. Yeah, you can stay full power on a climb. Uh, did you do an initial lean? No, I did not. Okay. Pretty good. And a climb 13 and a half is good. You knew that though. Uh, just re recap for me our, our procedure. We're in the downway, we hit the thousand footers. What's your procedure? It uh, flaps ascent. Uh, uh, you're saying you're still going 120 knots. Okay, now slow it, slow it down to 95. Okay. Flaps down. And uh, once we hit the borders, 45 degrees, turn to base, drop it down to about 80, 75 to 80. Uh, once we then line up for final and bring her down between 70 and 6, 65 and 70. And preferable touchdown at 65. Okay. And Stop and keep her center line. Did we did we put in the last notch of flaps somewhere? On final, on final. Last night. Okay, so you basically got it. Yeah. Alright, so you didn't tell them where you were. Oh, six miles. Right, but you didn't tell them what direction. Oh, they don't know, and, you, and you're really right now, you're going to be entering a left downwind, so we need to clean that up a little bit. But you're right, I did distract you, and you can't be distracted. You're in, indistractable. Just to be. Okay, alright. Just not your flaps.
too high. There, I thought I had it. There's no way you're going to bring this straight down, right? Roger. All right. How about a slip? Familiar with the side slip? Yes. Okay. See how we brought it right down? Power out. Power's out. We bounced a little bit. We had a little much speed. Right, we're going to do a full stop. So, you, you pointing that nose down on final, you were doing like 95 knots. So there was no way that was ever going to work for you, right? I was actually getting ready. As soon as you took it, I was just getting ready to say going around. Okay. And that's fine choice. If you're not comfortable with the slip, I just wanted to show you you can do it, yep. and it and how it worked. We went down without the speed. All right, let's taxi back and make your call for clear of my way. So here's what you did. You got to 95 in the pattern, okay? And then you started with your flaps and everything. And you, you had to go at 95, but you did it with power, and you did not lose any altitude in the downwind. Matter of fact, you gained altitude. You were 1,900 feet in the downwind. Then we turned base. You brought your speed back nicely, and you started to lose altitude, and that's when you realized, butt row, but we're raggy, we got, we got a problem here. So you had two choices at that point. Uh, one is to really yank the power and even slow down more in the base. You could deploy the landing flaps in the base, right? Give you more drag. Um, or you could do a slip like we did, or you could go around. Go around if, if you're not comfortable with any, if the setup is not how you want it and you're not happy with it, you're the pilot, go around. Don't try to salvage something and be a hero. Okay. that. Um, like I said, I demonstrated a slip. That's one way. That was the only way we were getting down. I landed a bit fast. I had a little bounce. I didn't quite keep her up long enough. Um, but you see in the slip, we were coming down at about 75, which is just about the speed we want. And when we just stuck the nose down, we were doing 95. This plane, you know this plane. If you if you try to come in here at 95 over the threshold, she would have floated all the way back to Concord. You just, Alright, so, so don't start your your approach procedure, let me put it that way, to hit the thousand footers, and then use your pitch for your speed, because remember, the, the, the key to these speeds is to control the descent. So if you keep your numbers right with power, that's not helping you get down. Roger. Okay, let's try one more, just stay left, cl close traffic for 2-4. Alright, here come our thousand footers, right? Roger that. So as we're a beam. Put your power back to about 10 inches. Some footers. To 10. Okay. And now hold her level. Put down to 10 inches. All right, so now we're checking. Fuel pump, full prop, rich. All right, flaps. Flaps can go, yep. And now, keep her near 10, pitch for 90. Sight picture. A lot better. Okay, so we're gonna pitch for 80 now, right? And if we can't get her to 80, we can power back if we have to. Alright, well we 
Steve, what'd you say we were going to pitch for here? Uh, 70. Alright, so we're not. So what are we going to do? The last natural flaps. Flaps. Kill the power, because we're getting too high. We were perfect, and now we're too high, right? Alright, there you go. Now you can fix her. Maybe get her over to the right, just a little bit. Alright, now you're getting her. Alright, so let's hold her about 70, 75. Just bring her right on in. your nose. I need that pulled to the little to the left. We were a little to the left position-wise. Uh, but you see we came in a little hot and you see how long she floated? Yes. Cut. And you did right. You just kept riding her. Uh, you ballooned a little bit but you corrected it. So that, that touchdown would have been fine. And it, it actually was fine because it took maybe a little off my tires there, Rolando. We buy stock in Goodyear or something. Make your, make your call. Nose up. Nose up. Alright, now let her down. Alright, full stop. That was good. I gave you a little bit of help, left rudder, just to get the nose over, just to skosh. But basically, we just touched down a little too much speed. We have to keep her in the air just to skosh longer. That's why she bounced. When she does bounce, I kind of felt that nose start to go down. Keep that attitude, um, attitude, because you don't want to end up in a porpoise. Roger that. Um, other than that, you are consistently, so here's what's happening. I'll, I'll let you get up here. We have an easy fix, because you've been coming in too hot on these finals. One second. Davidson, 526 Delta Sierra is off the runway. Davidson. Okay, clear of 2-4. Okay. So, you're doing good, you're pitching for your 90. When you're turning base, you're coming down, and you're up to 95 knots. Right. So now you've established a lot higher speed. So what I'd like you to do, you're at 90. As you're coming base, don't come down. Let that nose, keep that nose up, and start transitioning to your 80 in the turn. Does that make sense? Yes. Because um, now you've got 95 and you're going to try to erase 15 knots before you get to your next turn and it's not happening. Now we're too fast on five. So as you're turning, start slowing down. Um, and then that'll help you at the end because you're, you're kind of fighting a little bit at the end. You're going too fast and you're having to get a little steeper, I think, than you want to be. Um, all right, we're going to do one more? One more and we can head around home. Okay, do one more, we'll go. Now start slowing her down in your turn. Don't let her speed up on you. You want to get her Just down to 80. There you go. There you go. Nope, keep her coming back. A little more back. Alright, I don't get a letter get below me. There you go. Davidson, 526 Delta Sierra is turning to the final for runaway 24, full stop, Davidson. Alright, so since we did a little longer now when to get everything, you're set up good. You just work your power and your pitch to keep her 70 to 75. Oh, I would. A little less power, a little more pitch. Basically pointing at the top of the numbers. Got one more notch of pops too you can throw in there. Keep her about 70 to 75. There you go. Get a little sink over the trees. 
Like it. This is the best setup you've had so far. Now, now you can start bringing her back down to like 60. Ivish, once you get over to threshold. You going around or what are we doing? Stop. Okay. I just got to review myself there. Oh, that that was super full stopping. Power should be all the way out. I, that was not a good one. Cherokee uh, 952 Alpha is clear touching go, runway 2, the wind is 0105. Clear touching go, runway 2, 952 Alpha. Cherokee 5, right, we got her on glide, overshot just a little bit. Alpha, to the right, we got to drop some major speed. Alpha into the ramp, 517 Alpha. Have her lighter up so she looks like she's too far right for you. November 9266, Delta, inbound the land. Inbound the land, yes sir. Alrighty, altimeter is 3008, enter left downwind runway 2, and report midfield. Report midfield, downwind from 02. Well, November uh, 385, Delta, if you will look up ahead and to your right on the opposite downwind, just about to beam the numbers now of the company Cherokee, that's what you're going to be following. Company Cherokee inside 385, Delta, was wondering if we could request a uh, short approach and do a 360 and a downwind forward, if able. Affirmative. Do that, and uh, by the time you do that, you should have enough space, and if not, I'll let you know. And you can do the short approach and go for the touch and go to two, and then go left out after that. All right, so we'll do the 360. Short approach. I'm right, sorry, I just go. got, I didn't feel quite comfortable what we had going on there. You got it. Controls. At the controls. Had her stabilized, and then she, you got. Too slow off the end of the runway, low 60s. Turn left on Delta, join Alpha, next to ramp, have a good day. And, I don't know, I just, I, you might have salvaged it, I might have jumped in a bit too soon, but I felt a little bad about how we were coming. So you had her going good though, you got her on glide path, you did get her slowed down, but then you got her too slow. And, that's the 60s that far off the runway, that's that's a danger. Uh, checking right. He cut us loose. Right. 